Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, we're gonna find a line integral along a path. The path is given by this vector valued function here. R of t equals sine t i hat plus cosine t j hat plus two k hat. As t runs from zero to pi over two. So first recall the definition. So if you have the integral over c, over c of f of x, y, z, ds, this is equal to the definite integral from a to b of f of x of t, y of t, z of t. Okay, then we have a big square root. And then here we have x prime of t, and this is squared, plus y prime of t, and this is also squared plus z prime of t, and this is also squared, dt. And so what is this x, y, and z? Well, here c is the path, and it's given by r of t equals x of t i hat plus y of t j hat plus z of t k hat. So in this problem here, uh, it's very, very similar to um, the formula. So we already have x of t. So x of t is sine t. y of t is going to be our cosine t. And then it looks like z of t is going to be 2. Okay. So let's go ahead and work this out. So solution. So we have our line integral over c of x squared plus y squared plus z squared ds, okay? And this is equal to the definite integral from zero to pi over two, right? Our a is zero and our b is pi over two. Now this here, this is f of x, y, z. So we're gonna plug in x of t, y of t, and z of t into the x, y, and z here, right? That's what, that's what goes here. So uh, x of t is sine of t, so it'll be sine squared of t, okay? And then y of t is cosine t, so it'll be cosine squared of t. And then z of t is two, so it'll be two squared, so plus four. Okay, this is in parentheses. It's three terms, so I'll put it in parentheses. We have a big square root. So what's x prime? So let's think about that. So um, if x of t is sine t, x prime of t is cosine t. Oh, it's so small, sorry. Uh, so cosine t, right? The derivative of sine is cosine. So it'll be cosine squared t. I didn't know I could write that small. <laughs> uh, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So y prime of t is negative sine of t. So it's being squared though. So when you square it, it's gonna become positive. Okay, so it's just sine squared. And then um, the derivative of z is zero, right? Because it's a constant, so plus zero. I won't bother to write it. So dt, okay, maybe I will, plus zero. Um, so again, the derivative of sine is cosine and we square it, so we get cosine squared. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. We square it, so the negative goes away. And then the derivative of two is zero, so we square it, we still get zero. Cosine squared plus sine squared, that's a fantastic derivative, a fantastic identity. That's equal to one, right? And then, oh, look at this, it happens here again. So this is equal to the definite integral from zero to pi over two. How nice. This is gonna be parentheses one plus four. And then here we get the square root of one. Really happy that this worked out uh, so cleanly. I hadn't done this problem. And then we're going from zero to pi over two. One plus four is five, so we have five dt. When you integrate this, you just get 5t, that's a constant, and we're going from zero to pi over two. And then you plug in the pi over two first, so you get five times pi over two. Subtract, you plug in the zero, five times zero. So we end up with an answer of five pi over two. And that's it, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.